and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you somebody that I have full transparency. I had an opportunity to work with and I learned so much from. This is probably one of the, most, the, the smartest guys I've ever met. He asked the most incredible questions when you're working through things. And so that was just one of the experiences that I got to work with none other than Jason Stern. Guys, y'all give it up. Can you, can you, you hear the crowd the crowd clapping for you, sir? It's pretty amazing. It's, uh, it sounds like one more, one more. Uh, the audience is one person greater than I get at home every day. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? I'm clapping for you. So if that's all that claps, you got one for me, sir. Hey, so Jason, I want to give you a chance to share a little bit more about uh, with the audience of who you are and what you do. Yeah, so you mentioned, um, you know, asking questions and I, I tend to ask a lot of questions because I like to learn and, and I learn from um, from folks like you and I've learned a ton from you. So um, I appreciate you giving me the chance to uh, spend some time with you today and super excited to, to chat with you. Um, a little bit about my background, I guess uh, most people look at my background and go, what the heck is this guy doing? He doesn't know where he's going and what he's doing. So just to give you a little flavor, I started my career with, uh, with a, a big company called Nestle in the food business. Um, and then I went to work for an even bigger company in uh, GE, General Electric. And um, on the consumer finance side, we had a private label credit card. And then I ran, uh, ran a company called Adopt a Highway where we cleaned up highways. Um, I ran a software company called Acceler in inventory management. I ran a consumer electronics retailer that sold uh, TVs um, called Paul's TVs. Um, then I got into executive coaching. Um, I've worked in real estate. And so most people look at my background and go, what the heck is this guy doing? He doesn't know where he's headed um, or what he wants to do. And um, for me, it's been it's been very different. It's been a, a a journey in leadership and learning and and really um, focusing on on running businesses and finding out what works and what doesn't work. And um, it's been an awesome journey for me. And so, as much as people like to tell me that I don't know what I'm doing, I um, <laughs> well, they're probably right. Actually, I probably don't know what I'm doing. But it's um, it it's been super fun along the way. So. That's amazing. And and Jason, I have to say, I, I, I wholeheartedly believe you know what you're doing because the like you said, the questions you ask so that you can learn, the questions that I have been on the receiving end of you have been so valuable to me because they, they stopped me and forced me, required me, encouraged me to think better. And I, I truly believe someone that can ask the right questions at the right time, at the right moment to the right person can truly make a profound difference in that person for that project and the people around them. So I, I truly believe you know what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, it's a, um, it, it sometimes comes across, um, if probably at first it comes across as kind of being difficult, right? Because you're asking questions and, and kind of stopping people while along their, they're super excited about something and then you stop and them <laughs> asking questions. And, and for me, you know what what it really is about is um i want everyone to have success i want i want to see whatever's being worked on being successful and so often we want to just you know put what i call more fuel on the fire we just want to put more horsepower behind behind <laughs> something and um and often it's just removing the barriers that is sometimes more impactful than adding more horsepower no it doesn't wow. mean that you don't need horsepower but um, but I've always tr I, I try to look at things and go, OK, how does this ha if we want to get to you know our destination, our point B, what's going to what, what do we need to get there and what's going to prevent us from getting there? Because it's those those things that prevent us from getting there um, that sometimes we forget to consider. And if we can mm -hmm. just remove that, it's amazing how much uh, people can flow forward and get, and get going. So wow. that's the reason behind it. It, um, it comes across sometimes as, as it can, it can come across as difficult. <laughs> I try to do a little better job of explaining why I'm asking those questions, but it really comes from the, the best of intentions. Oh, and, and, and I wholeheartedly am a, a fan of those questions because I believe that pause with that question is what we can do to be able to see those obstacles in our way so that we can move forward with that right horsepower. Yeah, and it's amazing because I had a um, I had a mentor early in my career, and you know, you'd ca I'd call him up and be super excited about everything I had going on, and I just you know over time I started to realize that out of nowhere would come this zinger question, and I just <laughs> go, oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. How did I right? not see that? And you're just like, how did I, how did I not see that? 
and yep. it's like right in front of you and you know it makes you feel about this big at the time <laughs> um but it's great training it really is yeah. to 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 make you better and and to really you know and it came from came from the heart from that individual so there you go it's um it's it's great to be able to work with people that you can you can do that and and if you what, you know what i really what we all need more of is people like that that would ask more of those questions right so that we would mm -hmm. you know know that we're or that they have the, our best interest in mind and, and help us out before we we fall down that ditch <laughs> right fall in our face yeah with jason i've always, again i've always seen you a leader and you have been a leader in so many different industries and so i always love to connect with inspiring leaders peek behind the curtain to find out what inspires these incredible leaders. And so, Jason, I reached out to you and asked you three things. What inspires you? And you shared with me three points that I believe are pretty amazing. And the first one you shared with me that inspires you includes people finding their inner greatness. So share with us what that means to you and, and why do people finding their inner greatness inspires you? What does that mean to you? Yeah, so as, as I've journeyed through my life, right, you find people and there's nothing that more exciting than seeing people that are, you know, in the right fit, right? They're in, yeah. they're doing something that they are truly enjoying doing. And, and, you know, you like to, you hope that it's not just, you know, a hobby. You hope it's, it's their career as well. You know, not everyone is fortunate enough to be able to be in the, in a job that they, you know, is so perfect in their passion. <laughs> and you hear this stuff, you know, and let's be realistic, like, if you like 60, 70% of your job, you know, stick with it. That That's pretty <laughs> darn good, right? We, we've all got parts of our job that we don't like, but, but if you are, you know, if, if you're happy in those roles, you know, don't, don't go chasing, you know, that perfect one thing you may not find it. I mean, I, you know, I'm a big fan of, of, you know, stick with, with 60, 70%, <laughs> you know, you're, you should be pretty good. But anyways, you've got people that are that when they're in their right fit and they're they're chugging along and, and it, it just works and you, and you and then you look at the the flip side once again and you go this person looks you know like they're demoralized they don't they just don't look like they're into it and you just sit there and go okay well why is that and so how do we get them it's a tough way to live your life like that imagine showing up every day i mean listen we've all had days we, we dread coming in the office or whatever it is for whatever reason but if that's every day, I mean, that's what that's what I feel bad about. I, mm -hmm. I would hate to have someone being stuck in one of those kind of jobs where they have to every day kind of get the just not a good feeling walking in going, this is just going to be dreadful. And so yeah. I do believe there, there are people that have, you know, whatever it is that makes you tick. We have, you know, artists and poets and musicians and and whatever your thing is, right? And and it's not just the the skill set of being a poet or being an artist. Mm -hmm. It's the way of thinking, right? So how do you utilize that way of thinking, right, in your career? Because you may not be able to make a living being whatever it is you're passionate about, um, and that's okay, right? But but that that way of thinking, you have a gift to give to. You know, my my world has been in in companies and businesses. It has not been in. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. Um, so there, there are a variety of places to do this, but when I see it, it's it's I want to see whatever your gift is come out and I want to mm. see the organization benefit from that. And so we all have that somewhere in there and, and and finding what that is and bringing that to the forefront is really what it's about. Right. It's about finding finding that thing mm -hmm. and, and that changes the mindset of that individual, you know, the team benefits from that thing. But but changing the mindset of that individual is super inspiring for me because you've just taken someone who's droopy coming in every day and now they're like <laughs> excited to come to work and when you yeah. see that and we've done it i've done it with you gary right not you personally but i mean with the people <laughs> that we've worked with yeah right we've seen it and they and they flourish and it's so it's awesome mm -hmm. oh i agree and I, and I love that you when you have that awareness and you pointed out kind of a percentage 60 70 percent if you like that much over 50 percent of your job you're in a good spot and at that point, man, work on your gift. And and once you find that gift and you start developing that, that's the inner greatness. That is so true, Jason. I, I absolutely agree with that. And you're speaking my language when it comes to truly 
understanding what your gift is so that you can start developing your gift skills and talents along the way to make things better. You know, Jason, you also shared with me your, your second inspirational point includes improving and you were very specific about getting better. So tell me what, what, what that means to you, improving, getting better and, and how that inspires you. It's the one thing that drives my wife the most crazy because <laughs> I, um, <laughs> it's like, it's just never, I'm never satisfied. And she goes, you know, why do you always, you know, why do you always see the negative? And it's, it, to me, it's not the negative. It's an opportunity. It is just mm -hmm. a, it's an endless quest to always be better at everything that goes on can be better. Now, I guess it comes with, you got to know what your priorities are and what's important, right? Because you, yeah. you don't want to sit there trying to improve everything or you'll, you'll, you'll drive yourself crazy. <laughs> um, as my wife says, I just drive her crazy, but that's a different <laughs> story. But I see things, you know, and it's kind of, it's probably just the way I'm wired. You know, I can't go to a, sit down in a restaurant without looking at the operation of the restaurant and, and and not seeing, you know, is it working? Is it not working? And yeah. and when it's working, I actually notice and go, that is actually awesome. You know, that's mm -hmm. pretty impressive. And yeah. and other times you're like, this is a disaster. It's a recipe <laughs> for disaster. And you sit there and just go. And I've had to learn, right? I, you know, I, so much of this I have to keep to myself because you go out to dine with someone, and they don't want to hear about that. But I can't <laughs> help but not see it. So I I see it, um, mm -hmm. and I just keep it to myself now. But everywhere i go i'm looking at how do how do things get better and and you know i've, I've got to look at myself too I, i've got to stop and go how can i get better right how what am i doing that is you know whether it's raising kids being a spouse being a leader in the company or, I, or you know a consulting client whatever it may be yeah you know it's just about you know finding you know getting better and, and it goes back to the first one right can we find a gift? If we can find someone's gift and bring it out, can that make it better? Can we reorganize things? Can we can we constantly just find things? And it's just the thing that I'm, you know, I don't know if everyone's like this or not. I'm sure a lot of people are more than probably care to admit. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's it's exciting to get better. Mm -hmm. and, and Jason, one of the things it, I'll point out, something that resonated with me is something that you didn't say. When you talked about improving, getting better, looking for opportunities, the thing you did not say is perfection. And I so appreciate that because, you know, whenever we, in, in, in my perspective, when we chase perspective we're all, or chase perfection, we're always going to be disappointed. But if we're chasing the opportunity to improve, then you hit these marks along the way and that's success and that's, that's opportunities to continue to grow. That's, you know, it's, it's, it's encouragement. That's a really great point, Gary. I mean, I'm, you know, it's it's just like you to to bring out the best in even the conversation, right? To to notice these things, and it's, you know, one of the things that that I learned from the um, from the medical field is, you know, it's a doctors are in, you know, they have a practice, mm, right? Yes. And so, you know, what does that imply? And and they say it like we practice our our trade. Yeah. We have not perfected our trade. We practice it. Mm -hmm. And and that's kind of the way I think. You do this, um, and a lot of folks that you know, you come into work every day, and you're trying to, you're constantly practicing. You're, mm -hmm. you're always looking to get better. Um, yeah. You know, there there are milestones along the way, but the next day is just another opportunity to, to do what we do and try to do it a little bit better. And if we have our eyes open, we'll we'll learn from the past, we'll learn from each other. But we're we're in constant pursuit, and 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 that can feel. That can feel heavy, I think, to some to film folks. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think it's it's what's inspiring too. As you you know, you raise the question, what's inspiring? It's yeah, it's I don't know. You know, if it's not if it's if it's perfect, then it's boring, right? We're there. There you go. Great. Then what yeah. do we do? What's next? Right. I love that. <clears throat> and and Jason, I do have to uh, agree with you. I do the same thing whenever I go somewhere. I'm always looking at the operations and the people moving around to see where's the miss, where's the good, you know. So welcome to you the club, sir. You make me feel so good because I, <laughs> I feel, you know, like I'm the only one. So I'm so oh, glad no, that, no, that there's trust two me, of I'm us all... that are going to suffer through that. Yes, yes. It's a constant like this and that looking and, and it's it's a intentional thing to be present in the moment with whomever I'm with to make sure I'm not. So I feel you, sir. <laughs> 
So the third thing you shared with me, and I, I really love this point, is success through people. So this is a pretty pretty powerful statement, and, and I'd love for you to elaborate on this a little bit more and tell us why success through people inspires you. Okay, so this one's uh this one's pretty loaded. Yeah, I mean it's um it's and it's con it's it's really you know I put it down pretty easily because it's it's what has become my life's work, right? Mm -hmm. It is about what I what I do today, um, and help organizations do, um, which is we we need to find a way. There's so many smart people, and there's so many we talked about the gifts of people, mm -hmm. and how do you make the most of all this? Right. And, and, and I'm not sure that as a country and maybe beyond that, the workforce, and I, I say this very, you know, cavalier, but, but maybe, you know, not, not with the intention of pinpointing anyone out, but generally I'm, I'm not sure that we, we've all come together to, to work together and, and make things happen together. Yeah. Right. And so if we think about you know everyone's gifts and bringing it together how do we get the most out of it together and so there's this idea that you know about co collaboration and what i find is that collaboration is actually really hard and, and people mistake in what i call division of labor for collaboration mm. right and what do i mean by that so if i'm going to divide up a task and, and I use this terrible example of, of a meal, right? If you're going to divide up a meal and say, okay, Gary, why don't you bring the appetizer and I'll bring the main dish and someone else will bring the dessert and someone mm -hmm. else will bring the, the cocktails. And, and so, you know, have we collaborated? Um, maybe, maybe not. But what could happen is, you know, you bring a guacamole dish as your appetizer and I bring a pasta for, for, <laughs> um, for the dinner and yeah. someone else brings something else and the meal just you know, it is a meal. Okay. We're not going to starve, but it's not a meal, right? Mm, it's not, yeah. it's not a, it, yes, we haven't yeah. collaborated in, in a true sense. All we've done is divvied up the labor, right? And so good. if all we're going to do is divvy up labor, we're not truly collaborating. We're not getting the most out of this meal. And so yeah. there's so many ways, and, and that's just one example of, of how we need to work together and so there's there's things you know there's these old sayings that that come out and the, and i think there's some truth to them right you know the whole you know those who help plan the battle don't battle the plan right mm. how do you how do you get in early and get people's ideas together so that listen if we want to make this meal awesome why don't you and i and everyone else get together and say listen are we going to have mexican food italian food chinese food wh whatever kind of our meal we want to have mm -hmm. it i'd rather we all agree to the to the meal even if it's not the meal that i love Right. At least it's a meal, like a meal meal, not a just a connected. Just, yeah, it's not just a hodgepodge <laughs> of, of food put together. Right. And, and and if we think about our work, I think that's where so much of it goes wrong. Um, and then we get into these these little, you know, tit for tats or battles. You know, it shows up on my and I say communication is not, you know, is not should not be just in time. Right. It's so mm. often it's like, well, you know, we'll let them it could be an IT group. It could be an HR group. It could be anyone that says, you know, well, we'll go to them when we need them. And it's like, well, now imagine being that person. It just shows up on your desk and you're supposed to do something, but you don't really know what it is. And, you mm -hmm. you know, everyone else knows what it is because they've been on the journey for a week, two weeks, a month, yeah. a year. And it shows up on someone's desk. And, and now we wonder why they're, they're not all engaged. Mm -hmm. Well, heck. <laughs> so that's that's a lot of what this is it's about organizing people to get them to come together and 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 it's actually more fun because we get to we get to draw on other people's gifts and mm -hmm. and what i found in early in my career was everything that i disliked doing every single thing there was someone else who not only was willing to do it there was someone who loved to do it yeah I mean, it, it was shocking to me. I did not think that I thought, well, whatever I dislike, someone else is also going to dislike. So I probably shouldn't ask them to do it because that's just me. And then I realized, no, there is someone else who loves to do what I dislike and vice versa. Mm. Right. And so imagine bringing all those folks together. Now everyone's doing what they love and I don't have to do the things I hate. <laughs> and that's that's where it all works. And then you you're more successful. It's more fun. You win together. Like it's who wants to win alone? Because I'll tell you what happens when you win alone. What happens when you win alone? 
One, it's lonely, but two, everyone hates you, right? Everyone wants to knock you down. <laughs> right. Oh, that's so true. And Jason, I, I absolutely love that. And 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 I have had, I've been, had the opportunity to see you, watch you in action to bring a diverse group of people together and accomplish a mission, a goal, and, and doing things that were before we couldn't do. But because we work together and 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 so well through the gifts and talents, I've seen it. I've seen it in in, in action, and it's absolutely unbelievable yeah, to and, watch and, that. And sh- share share what you know. Share what what is how does it feel? I mean, is it it's not always perfect, right? No, not perfect. But we keep improving along the way. And to to see a a, a group of individuals, leaders come together and individually, not working in silos, but connecting on pieces and and doing their part because we're we're creating the the same meal together and then when that feast is revealed man it's amazing it's absolutely amazing yeah it's great it's great to hear you know from from that other side right you've we've all been on multiple sides of it and 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 we know what it's like Mm -hmm. when it's not like that and and that's the interesting part about all this stuff is that we're you know as i say in one group, we're the leader, and the other group, we're you know we're part of the the following group. And being a yeah. great follower is important, by the way. So so it, it really is important. But you know you, you can't be constantly the leader. In some environments, you're not the leader, and that's great. You know that's great too. But we've seen we see this from multiple angles, mm-hmm. and and that's how we can kind of test whether this stuff's going to work in many sense. Yeah. Right. But it you know you don't have to wait to get all the gray hairs that. That, you know that that some of us have. some of us just cut it off so yeah well mine's still growing in so <laughs> welcome to the club well hey jason we're, we're at the end of our time and it is it has been a pleasure to to chat with you and to and to learn more from you but before we wrap up i'd love to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us yeah i i i, I mean i don't know that it's a new thought um and maybe we talked about it but it's it's in addition to kind of finding you know a way to work with people um you know don't be afraid to ask you know what what the barriers are right mm-hmm. don't don't be afraid to ask you know i had a friend tell me the other day that that she was you know wanted to run more mm-hmm. and you know she wasn't finding the time to run um and i could sit there and tell her all the great things about running but she already knew that she she loves to run it's not my thing she yeah. knows the great things and so her 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 reason that she can't run more is not because she doesn't know how wonderful it is. It's because she can't remove the barriers, the time. She's got kids, she's got family, she's got work, she's got a lot of things. So, you know, in addition to throwing more horsepower onto things, um, you know, look out what's stopping, what's stopping all of us from being successful and, and focus mm-hmm. on those things and focus on, you know, that's what's going to get you to the end goal. It's not just about, well, I just did all the things, but 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 focus on what's going to stop you or what you need to add to get yeah. to that end goal. And I think if we if we do that and listen to one another um, and care for one another, right? We 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 often know that we all want to be there together, but we're, somehow it's just not clicking. And so you know, spend a little bit more time with each other trying to make it click. And I think we'll all be happier. So good. I love that. Take time. You've got the goal, but take time to remove the barriers, identify the barriers, remove them or a way around them so that you can get to your end goal. Jason, it's been fantastic to get a chance to connect with you again and chat with you. And I appreciate you being on the episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. Jason, if somebody wanted to connect with you, is is there any way that maybe on LinkedIn that they could connect with you? They can, yeah, they can go to LinkedIn. They can go to, you know, my email is jstern at giftoftime.us. Um, you can call me, you can get in touch with you. I think you know how to get in touch with me. Um, absolutely. I mean, that's easy. Um, and more importantly, I understand that you've just finished up a new book. I did. The Super Fantastic Me is available on Amazon. So thank you for that, that little plug. I sure appreciate that. I don't know how you find the time to write all these books. Hey, I find the obstacles and I move them out of my way so I can do the things I want to do. And I learned that from you, sir. So thank you so much. You're amazing, Um, Gary. Thank you, Jason. And thank you for being a, a guest on our Super Fantastic Exchange. And we will see you on the next episode. Thank you.